Okay guys, so I wanted to give you a quick rundown on how to test a relay to know if it's bad or if it's good. Um, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to turn this to ohms. That's the little uh, horseshoe looking symbol there. It's also for continuity. So we you can see here it's offline. You may have all zeros or an OL meaning offline. Uh, you shouldn't have all zeros, I'm sorry. It should be one or two zeros or offline. So once we touch this together, we're making a connection, and you can see that it's reading ohms through there. It's showing that it's making a connection, but we're not getting any ohms, otherwise it would be a number. But I think you understand. Right now it's offline, here it is not. So now we have the multimeter tested uh, on and it's working. So now we're going to look down here at the relay. If you notice on the relay, there's a bunch of numbers, and the numbers normally, uh, people would look at them and go, what is this for? What is that for? These numbers are just uh, simply showing you on the schematics where this wire goes to. So, to test the relay, ignore the numbers themselves, just remember the number locations. So, I think you understand that. If you had a schematic showing that the radio wire had the same ground going to the cigarette lighter, then this 87 would be on the schematics going to both, etc. So, but for the relays, we're going to ignore the numbers themselves. Now, 85 and 86, we show that they are touching each other. The wire is touching. 30 and 87 are touching, but nothing's, or 87A, but nothing's touching 87. So this would mean that 87 and 30 are a closed connection, where 30 and 87 is an open connection. And you notice it's on a little bit of an angle. That means it can flop over from 87A to 87. But if the circuit is bad, it should read 85 and 86 should have some sort of ohms or continuity. 30 and 87A should have some ohms or continuity. 30 to 87 will not have any ohms. And uh, if you read anything different than that, then it's a bad connection. So let's test 85 and 86 first. 85 and 86 are, there's 85, and there is 86 in the other corner there. You see it? So let's go ahead and, I'm sorry, they're right next to each other. Here's a, no, no, they're opposite corner. 85 and 86. So we touch them together, we look over, we have ohms. That means they are connected. And once again, on the relay, 85 and 86 shows a connection. It's a squiggly line, but it shows a connection. So 30 and 87A should also have a connection. So if we go to 30 and 87A, we'll put this on 30 so we can do the next test. And 87A should also have a connection. And there we are. We're reading ohms on it as I touch it. Now, 87 should not. That should be an open circuit. So when this, the other two are applied to voltage, the continuity then travels from 87A to 87, sending the circuit out. I think you understand that. So I hope this video helps you out. Please click like. Please click subscribe. If you have any comments, please leave them. And uh, please click on my name underneath this video for all my other how-to videos. And once again, guys, enjoy.